Hello everyone, Emberlorn here, and welcome back to the Ramble SMP server. I hope you are having a great day today. I'm doing well. Today I have a huge list of things I want to get done, since I think it's time we start wrapping up construction on this city block. My overall goal is to have this whole block wrapped up in about two to three more episodes. So let's take a look here at everything that I want to get done today. So the first thing I want to get built is a rabbit farm. That's generating cooked rabbit and rabbit hides. After that, I will need to connect the farm to the hopper chains and set up whatever filters I need to move those items into their proper storage areas. Once that is out of the way, I'm going to take these three wool boxes and turn them into New York style brownstone buildings that can be used either as shops or houses. To round it all out, we're going to build a restaurant and finish the exterior of the wool shop. So there is a lot to get done in very little time to do it in, but that is today's challenge. With that all out of the way, the only thing left to do is to dive in and see if we can knock it all out. Well, the first item on that list of things I need to get done for this episode is finished. I have the rabbit farm built and it is operational. So the way this works is that uh, we have to go up here to the top. We grab us some carrots. We breed up some rabbits. They're a little hard to get into at times. Um, this is the, the stairs and this top piece are not part of the tutorial video that I use from Narwhal Gamer. Um, there'll be a link down in the description for that so you can go check out the full tutorial. Um, it's a pretty good video. So yeah, we, um, we, we use the carrots to breed up the rabbits and then the babies... Fall down into this area here. Um, and, uh, yeah, so they use this water stream, they fall down in here, and they get into this area. And um, that is where they are at. So, once they grow up, we can pull this lever, which will drop them down to the campfires down below, and cook them up. I'm not going to pull it right now, because we just mostly got babies in it right now. But, yeah, they'll... This lever here opens up and drops them onto these campfires, and then they cook up, and then their drops go into this chest. And, um, I, I may have a few rabbit heads. It's getting rabbits into the top of this thing in order to get this cooker going has been really difficult. But it's there, and it works. Um, so, yeah. But, uh, so after that, I put into this hopper chain here. I extended it out to this chest so that it goes down into the rest. And this filter over here is set up for rabbit hide. Then from there, um, our cooked rabbit meat and our raw rabbit meat will end up going currently down here into the overflow chest. Um, because I don't have a filter set up for cooked rabbit. And I don't feel like I'm probably going to use the rabbit farm as much as the others. So I don't think I'm actually going to add a filter for the rabbit meat. Plus, because of the fact that when the rabbits hit the campfires, they don't necessarily all get cooked um, or the meat doesn't always cook up, then I would need two filters. And actually, I would end up needing three because um, rabbits also occasionally drop rabbits' feet. And, um, yeah, I haven't really decided what I want to do with those. So I think what I'll do is I'll just let those things go to the overflow chest, and then we'll have uh, some sort of chest where we manually take and sort those items out um just to kind of keep things simple besides not only that i'm kind of running out of room over here i suppose i could push this wall out a little bit farther but i really don't want to um so we'll just kind of take care of that 
So now with two items off our list done with the rabbit farm and the hookup to the hopper chain, um, we turn our attention to our next uh, item on the list, which is the three brownstone houses that we'll be building right here. Now these houses will also double as shops, I think. I'm thinking one for pets, so I'll have cats and dogs in them. I haven't quite figured out exactly how I'm going to do that. Um, I think one of these might be a cactus farm, and then I, maybe a redstone shop. So those might be the things that happen with these brownstones. Um, and then, of course, over here is going to be our restaurant. So next up on our list is the three brownstones.
there we have it, folks. Three brownstone houses all put together. And I think they came out fairly well. Now, that roof up there, um, I was trying to take some inspiration from the shop that Scorpios built over near Spawn, um, which I think is a really cool build. But yeah, that roof does not fit on this building. So I am going to end up taking that roof off and completely redoing it, probably doing something a little bit more flat. Um, yeah, that that just does not fit the style of the build. Um, but uh, there we have the three brownstones. Um, so we've gotten the rabbit farm done. We've got it hooked up to the hopper system. We've got the three brownstones done. Um, we haven't finished the restaurant yet, and we haven't finished the structure or the exterior structure of the wool farm or the wool shop yet um but it has taken me almost a week to do up the brownstones um just because i've had a lot of things going on in real life right now and i just haven't had the time to uh to get onto the server and build these houses that i wanted to do um uh I did take some inspiration for these brownstones from a tutorial video that I will be putting down a link to down in the description um, so you can go check it out. Um, it's a really good video. Um, but uh, so I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll go ahead and call this episode here. Um, we'll take care of the restaurant and the wool, wool shop in the next episode. And then in the following episode, we'll work on that uh, pumpkin and melon farm and shop. And then uh, we should be able to get the interiors of all of these buildings put together and um, pretty much be able to call this block of the city finished. So um, I'm really kind of looking forward to that so that we can move on to the next one. So with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and close out this episode for today. Be safe, take care of yourself and your family, and if you can, help out those who are desperately in need of assistance. Until next time, goodbye.